Hello everyone and welcome to this new video from BI Way. If you're finding us for the first time, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with new videos from BI Way. In this new video, we'll see how to create a Power Automate Visual for Power BI. So let's get started. Since April 2021, Microsoft has released a preview of Power Automate Visual, which allows end users to run an automated flow just by clicking on a button in the report. The flow inputs can be dynamic based on the filters the end user set. When clicking on Power Automate Visual, it will be added to the canvas with getting started instructions. After reading the instructions, I'm going to resize the button and place it at the top of the page report. Ok? So, for our example, we will see how to get the latest tweets using the Power Automate button. For our dataset and for demo purposes, I created a streaming dataset named Tweets dataset in my workspace with the following columns Tweet text, tweeted by, location, description, and created at. The first thing to do is to connect to the Power BI dataset by clicking on Git Data, then Power BI dataset and select my streaming dataset. Good, now we have all the feeds. Next, I will create a table visual and add all the fields to it. And as you can see, it's empty for now. Let's resize it. Ok, now we will create our button. With the flow selected, we can add any data fields to the Power Automate data region to be used as a dynamic input to the flow. I will add to a text column for example, but we are not going to use it for this demo. We select more options, then edit to configure the button. Here in the edit mode of the visual, we can select an existing flow to apply to the button or select from Power BI templates or create a new flow to be applied to the button. For our example, we will start from scratch, so we select new, then instant cloud flow. As you can see, we already have a Power BI button as a trigger, we are going now to add our actions. We select new step, then we are going to look for Twitter actions. Then choose search tweets. Then insert the search text. Let's search for Power BI for example. Ok nice. Let's now add a new step to insert data to our dataset. We're going to look for Power BI actions. Then we select add row to a dataset. We will fill in the requested fields, workspace name, dataset and table. Then we will do the mapping between the output of our Twitter action and the columns of the table. After we've configured our flow logic, we select save. Select the arrow button to go to the details page of the flow. 
Then we need to select the apply button to attach the flow to the button. So far so good. We now select go back to report. Ok, now we are ready to test it. So we press Ctrl and select the button to run the flow. Nice, let's refresh the report to see if we got any data. Cool, as you can see now, we have some data in our table. We can add some formatting to the button to look nicer, for example, change the button text, font color, font size, or fill color. So, let's quickly add some formatting. Let's go back to edit mode to check if the flow has run successfully. If we select our flow, here on the details page we can see the run history and status for the flow, which is succeeded. To give run access to users, select edit in the run only user section, then specify which users or groups you want to give run access to. And if you want to give them edit access, select share and specify the users or groups that you want to add as an owner. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, post them in the comment below. If you like the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with new videos from BIWay. See you in the next video.